the one thing that narcissists will do when they're presented with facts. Hello everyone, you've reached yet another video. My main topic of discussion for today is the issue of whether or not narcissists are susceptible to memory loss. Many narcissists, when confronted with hardship, are quick to proclaim, nobody could have seen this one coming. Narcissists never grow as people because they are unable to admit when they are wrong or accept responsibility for their actions. We are able to obtain new perspectives on how we may enhance the past if we take into account counterfactuals, which are alternative outcomes. To be able to participate in counterfactual thinking, one must first be able to imagine a scenario in which the actual event or set of circumstances does not take place. It's human nature to consider our safety first. It's human nature to take credit for one's successes while being ready to blame others for their failings. Every human being is occasionally guilty of this, but narcissists are exceptionally horrible at it. Not only do they not take the opinions of others seriously, but they also refuse to accept the opinions of those who do. A narcissist is continuously comparing themselves favorably to others. You're probably aware of all the foolish, harmful actions they take. Given how readily narcissists can deny the occurrence of particular events, the assumption that they suffer from amnesia or selective memory loss is absurd. They do it not only when they are entirely at fault, but also when they are even partially to blame. Narcissists work hard to forget everything that would hold them accountable. They hate being shown up for who they really are. They'll likely pretend like they can't remember what happened and can't wait to put it in the past. The narcissist's desire to act as though the problem has been fixed, even though it has not baffled many. Tensions may rise if you bring up this issue, since it may seem like you don't want to move on or are trying to provoke an argument. Narcissists will never admit fault or provide a satisfactory resolution. The narcissist compartmentalize or divides into smaller, more manageable bits, anything they encounter. In contrast to how they handle the wrongdoings of others, they store their own horrible deeds away in a separate section of their brain. First, let me say that the wrongdoings of a narcissist are filed away in the narcissist's forgetting, irretrievable part of the brain. Narcissists, on the other hand, have an insatiable memory for the wrongs of others. My experience with a narcissist suggests that this is a common method of operation for people of this type. If things aren't going well today, they can always go to bed early and wake up refreshed tomorrow. It is common knowledge that narcissists have selective memory and may only recall information that benefits them. Many narcissists become irritated because they believe your attempts to knock them down by reminding them of things they'd prefer to forget are actually an attack on their self-esteem. In the minds of narcissists, their flaws aren't flaws at all. Thus, they have no trouble disregarding them. You'll get them thinking about something they'd rather not think about. Another thing I saw was how quickly narcissists asked for forgiveness once they screwed up. They both wanted to see each other again immediately and give each other a passionate hug. The narcissist doesn't care if you're struggling to recover from the emotional wounds they've inflicted. They'd like to kiss it out of existence because narcissists have no remorse for the harm they cause. There is little concern for the consequences of their acts on their part. Please forgive them and put the past behind you, they beg. They call you unforgiving and negative when you speak up, even though they know you're only standing up for yourself after being wronged. They prefer it if you act like everything is fine. Although they may not deserve your love, they nonetheless seek it. Let's pretend you were in the narcissist's shoes and made a mistake or let them down. In such a scenario, you may rest assured that a thorough investigation would be conducted in which you would be asked to explain your actions and offer suggestions for improvement. A narcissist may also claim they require privacy to consider an issue properly. The punishment could be that they stop talking to you or that they start avoiding you because a narcissist will harbor ill will and seek retribution when the roles are reversed. You can always count on them to bring up the many occasions when you've let them down. Narcissists' obsession with themselves leaves little room for self-reflection or growth. All they can think about is the wrongs that were done to them, which suggests that the alleged amnesia 
they experience is highly selective. You can forget all the other wrongs you committed against a narcissist, but they will never forgive you for hurting their feelings. The hypocrisy and unfairness of a narcissist are often obvious. They want instantaneous forgiveness and love, despite the fact that they hold no affection for us and will never forgive us for anything. If they are too critical of your mistakes, take it as a warning that they don't want to be subjected to the same standards you are. Well, for today's video, that's it for now. I wish you a great week. If you have any thoughts or questions, please share them in the comment space provided below. We can't wait to get our hands on these and have a look. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. I truly value your time and attention as you heard me out. Thanks.